Hi everyone, welcome back to Kidding Around. My name is Melanie Smith and I think it is totally terrific that you are here with me today for another Test Tube Tuesday. Today we'll be talking about potential energy and kinetic energy. Before we do that though, if you like what you're seeing here and want to follow along with all of Kidding Around's videos, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and below each video click the thumbs up. Also, if you really like what you're doing here, please share us with your friends. Thank you so much. Okay, let's talk about it. Potential energy and kinetic energy. Have you heard those terms before? Well, if you have, wonderful. And if you haven't, that's okay. By the end of today, you are absolutely going to know what potential energy is and kinetic energy is. So before we get into our activity that shows what those two things are, I thought that I would give you an official definition. Potential energy, is the stored energy an object has because of its position or its state. And kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Potential energy is converted into kinetic energy as it is used. If those definitions went into your brain and completely latched on and make total sense, wonderful. If those definitions went into your brain and kind of latched on but don't make complete sense, wonderful. No problem. We are going to be doing an activity today that shows you both kinetic and potential energy at work. And I guarantee that by the end of this activity, you will absolutely understand those concepts both backward and forward. So we are going to be making a popsicle stick chain. And to do that, you only need one supply. You will need some large popsicle sticks. These are the tongue depressor size, so the big ones. Mine are colored, and I think that that makes them a little bit easier to use in this activity, but you absolutely can use the regular uh, non-colored popsicle sticks. Just make sure that they're the large ones. If you don't have any of these on hand, there's a link below this video to where you can purchase some. All right, so I think that we should just jump in and start building our popsicle stick chain. As we go along, I will talk to you about the potential and the kinetic energy. You will absolutely see it. And I think that's the best way to understand it is to just get in and get our hands on it, right? Okay, so the first thing that you are going to do is you are going to take these large popsicle sticks and you are going to build a foundation for your popsicle stick chain. <laughs> um, I will say that this is probably an easier activity to do if you have a second set of hands. You can do it alone, but I think it will be a little bit more fun and a little bit easier, especially these first couple times that you build your popsicle stick chains. If you've got um, a sibling or a friend or a parent that can help you. They will just need to be kind of holding the sticks in place as you build it. But you know what? If there's no one around right now, don't worry. You can absolutely do this alone too. It just might take a little bit more practice. All right, so let's get going and build our foundation. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to take your two, pop two popsicle sticks and make an X right in front of you, just like that. We're going to make an X. And then we are going to take a third popsicle stick and we are going to put the end under one of the ends of that lower stick, that bottom stick. All right, so I'm going to do that. And then you are going to put that third stick across the second stick. All right, does that make sense? So you have your X and then you're going to put the third stick, you're going to put the end under the bottom stick, and then it will go across the second stick. Okay, just like that. All right, now you are going to take a fourth stick and you are going to put the end under that first bottom stick. So my yellow stick is the bottom stick and my fourth stick is going under that bottom stick and then it is going to cross the third stick, this green stick that you just put on. All right, so that is what it looks like. And so right now, if you're doing this with me, I bet you can tell that there is kind of some tension in these popsicle sticks. So this is where your second set of hands comes in handy. Your second set of hands will be very useful in holding your popsicle sticks together because we are going to be creating tension as we go along and so they will help hold it and keep it all together as you build. All right, so once you have this setup, 
then it becomes very repetitive. You are going to be placing a popsicle stick end under one set of sticks and then over another stick. All right, so let me show you what I mean. So we are going to go to our second stick, which was the orange stick, and we are going to place this blue stick, this fifth stick, underneath. We're going to put the end of this blue stick underneath the end of this orange stick, okay? So to do that, I'm going to have to release a little bit of this tension that I have built up, but I don't want to release it all. If I release it all, our sticks are going to fly. They will fly at the end, but we want them to be much bigger before they fly. So I am going to release a little bit of tension, but I am going to keep some pressure down on this orange stick, this second stick that I put on. All right, so I am putting um, one my blue end underneath the orange, and then I'm going to put it on top of the purple. So you can kind of see the way that I kind of rotated that around to make that happen. All right, now as you go on, the point that you need your second set of hands to hold is going to move with you. You are going to continue making a chain all along your workspace, and they are going, your second set of hands is going to need to move their hands as you go along. You can put your hands, or they can put their hands, on the, the, uh, the cross that you just made, so that would be this one, this purple and blue one, or the cross that you made right before that. So this purple and green is going to be the best place for them to put it because it gives you a little bit of room to wiggle your sticks under and over as you go along. So you will find the right place for your second set of hands to help as you go. Just the, the important part is to keep the tension down. All right, so now I am going to put my red stick in. All right, so I am going to go to this green stick. It is the most bottom stick all on its own, and I am going to be putting my red stick under, and then it's going to go over this blue one that is running parallel to it. So I put it under the green one and over the blue one. And parallel, when I say that, that just means that the two lines are running straight right next to each other. They're not crossing at all. Okay. So you see where I'm going with this. So now I'm going to take an orange stick and I am going to find the next stick that is on the bottom that is all alone. So that is this purple one and I'm going to go under it and over the red one. And that red one is running parallel to the purple one. All right. And then you can see you can very gently move your popsicle stick chain if you want or if you're on a floor and you're building on a floor you can kind of crawl along and leave it in place either way works um, it's probably easier the first time that you build this for you to move versus you move this whole chain but it's really up to you okay so now i am going to move my pressure point to a cross that I've just recently made. I guess here this is actually the, the third most recent cross that I've made, but I don't want to be holding it back here. If I'm holding it back here, I'm going to have problems. So I want to keep my pressure down in a cross close, you know, in a cross that I've just recently made. Okay, so now I'm going to take another stick and let's see, what am I going to do? I have this blue one is the most bottom stick that is all alone. So I am going to put my purple stick under that blue stick and over the orange one that's running parallel to the blue, right? All right, so I am going to keep building and I am going to let you know that you are witnessing potential energy right now at work, right? You can feel the energy. You can feel that pressure that these sticks are, um, are forcing themselves around, right? So that is potential energy. It's energy that hasn't yet been used. So I'm continuing to build. I'm finding that next bottom stick that's all alone and I am putting a stick underneath and then I am crossing the stick that runs parallel to it. So as I was saying, this is your potential energy at work. You feel it wanting to kind of pop up and it is energy that wants to be used hasn't been be, hasn't been used yet, right? All right, so I'm going back. I'm seeing that this yellow stick is the most bottom stick that is all alone. There aren't two sticks with it. And then I am crossing it and I am just continuing to build my 
popsicle stick chain reaction. It's not yet a chain reaction, but it will be soon. Okay, so I find this red one and I'm going under and I will just continue to build it. I'm continuing to move the pressure as I go, right? To make sure that I'm keeping that potential energy potential. Okay, I'll find a different color. Oh, it seems like I really like yellows right now. All right, so under and over. And then here we go. Under and over. So you see, this is possible to do with one person, but you just kind of have to get the hang of it before you, <laughs> before you do it, um, before you do it. And so I think that that's a good reason to have someone around. Plus, you know what? It's just more fun to be with someone when you're doing fun activities like this, don't you think? Okay, so I am going to do just a couple more. And then we are going to talk about what do you think is going to happen when I let this go? Hmm. Make your hypothesis. We've called it a popsicle stick chain reaction. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. All right, so I'm going under and over. How many more should I do? I'll go under and over. How about I do one more? And you can see that I was able to let these go here at the end, even though when I started out, I needed to be holding them, right? But as I move along, as long as I'm keeping the pressure right here close to where I'm building, I'm okay. So that's where your second set of hands should be, along with you. All right, let's end with a red one. So I'll go under and over. Okay, so now I have this chain of potential energy. Oops, I just lost one, but that's okay. We've still got a lot here. All right, so what do you think is going to happen when I let the pressure go? All right, last chance for your hypothesis. Make it, make an educated guess. What do you think will happen? All right, and here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Did you see the chain reaction? It started here, I released the pressure here from that potential energy and it traveled all the way through those popsicle sticks and there was a chain reaction. And then when that started, you started to see kinetic energy at work. So that is the energy of movement. That kinetic energy traveled and continued to make each popsicle stick fly out of the way. So you can see how much fun this could be. You know, my girls did this a few years ago and they built um, a popsicle stick chain that crossed our entire house. And it was so much fun to watch because then as they let it go, it just travels down the chain. You can see that kinetic energy working. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed making this popsicle chain reaction, popsicle stick <laughs> chain reaction. I would love to see videos. If you have taken a video of your kinetic energy or pictures of you putting your potential energy together, please ask a grown up to post those on our Facebook site. Well, I am so glad that you could join me today and learn a little bit about energy. I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. We have another fun, thoughtful Thursday lesson. I can't wait to see you then. I can't wait to spread some love around the world with you. Until then, though, thanks so much for joining me for this one. Thanks, thanks so much for kidding around with me. I will see you next time.